Coming up on Mountain News this morning, cases of COVID-19 in Laurel County have nearly doubled in the past week. Hear from health officials about what is behind those numbers. And as the pandemic continues, we show you how local doctors keep finding new creative ways to keep people healthy here in the mountains. Plus, we take you to Frankfurt, where Governor Andy Bashir announced a plan to hopefully make health care more accessible for Kentuckians. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning. It is 5 o'clock on this Thursday, June the 18th. I'm Will Puckett. Thank you for tuning in to Mountain News this morning. Yesterday was rain. It was a gloomy day across much of the region. So let's bring Brandon in this morning to hopefully give us some good news of what to expect on this Friday Eve. Brandon, good morning. Good morning, Will, and no, you don't come to me for good news these days because it's the same old forecast, that low, that stagnant low down to our south. We've been calling it Cousin Eddie. If you're a fan of Christmas vacation, it's continuing to spin more moisture up this way, and today it actually has a friend. More on that here in a little bit, but this morning the clouds back and forth, the rain chances back and forth a little bit this morning, but the major problem is this, fog, very dense fog across parts of the region. Many folks below the one mile or even half a mile threshold there and everybody pretty much below that five mile threshold so please be careful this morning and take it easy out there temperatures in the 50s and 60s our warm spot is 63 up in Moorhead our cool spot a uh, couple of those there 57 in Somerset Wise and Jacksboro this morning your out the door forecast we're going to have just a touch warmer today only made it to 69 yesterday at the National Weather Service office at Jackson I think we'll get to about 74 today but again with these clouds and these rain chances not a whole lot of warmth has a way to get through those uh, dreary conditions i'll have the rest of the forecast coming up here in just a few minutes will all righty brandon thank you well kentucky is nearing 13,000 cases of covid 19. governor Bashir announced 170 new cases last night along with the deaths of six more kentuckians at least 518 people have died from the virus but more than 3,400 have fully recovered well, there have been 55 cases of COVID-19 in Laurel County since the pandemic began. 33 of those are now active cases, and 27 of them were discovered in the last week alone. WYMT's Connor James talked to health officials about the uptick and the factors behind the new numbers. In the last two weeks in Laurel County, there have been roughly the same amount of COVID cases that there have been in the two months beforehand. And we have seen a spike um, probably since Memorial Day. Mark Hensley is the public health director for Laurel County. He's been at the department for 30 years. He says there have been a multitude of factors that are contributing to the new spike. And a large part of that we feel like is a combination of there's um, a lot more testing sites. The um, capacity for testing has increased in Laurel County. As society moves forward, he says testing remains key as they test between 400 and 450 people a week. Right now, many people are experiencing something called COVID fatigue. In our society at this point, they're, um, they're just fatigued with the whole concept of COVID. They want to they wanna be out with their families. They want to be out at the ballpark. They want to be at the lake. They want to go on vacation. But if people do not do that safely, that's when you start to see that resurgence of cases. At the facility, six people there are part of the regional COVID-19 response team. They cover the eight counties in the Cumberland Valley region. And they make that initial contact with that index case. Then they interview that person, kind of rewind their life for the last 14 days. And as the number of cases has essentially doubled in the last few weeks alone, in Laurel County, that work is crucial. In a county of about 60,000 people, the percentage of cases is small. You know, wear your mask when you're out in the public and, and maintain that social distancing. Wash your hands frequently. If you're sick, stay home. But the precautions that need to be taken to make sure that it stays small still need to be followed. In Laurel County, Connor James, WYMT Mountain News. Now, Hensley does go on to add that they keep in constant contact with first responders and officials about the case numbers and new developments. Well, we're also learning about the increase in COVID-19 cases in Harlan County. After being one of only eight counties yet to record a positive case, that changed last month. Now Harlan County now has 15 cases and nine of those are active. Seven of them coming from the Tri-Cities area. When you combine 
now the seven of the nine cases that we have in Harlan County that are in that area, it's easy to see when you, when you go from a, a youth ministry group to a school, to a church, how you can get over 100 people in quarantine. Judge Executive Dan Mosley wants to reiterate that there is still only one shopper per household allowed in stores. Well, as the COVID-19 pandemic continues, local doctors are finding new ways to treat patients. Frontier Medical Associates is now not only offering a drive through clinic, but also a mobile unit. They bought an ambulance and turned it into a COVID response unit. It will be used for COVID testing as well as routine exams. They will travel anywhere in Floyd County, Johnson, McGoffin and Martin counties as well. We never thought we will see patient in a parking lot. We never thought uh, we're going to have a mobile clinic, but uh, probably this epidemic uh, opened our eyes and made us probably uh, more flexible. Now they plan to start using this unit next week and all have also extended their hours at all their clinics until 8 p.m. every day. Well, Governor Bashir wants to reinstate Connect. It's a state-based health care exchange that helps people find health insurance. Former Governor Steve Bashir started the program in 2013. Connect allowed Kentuckians to buy commercial health plans or sign up for Medicaid. This tied into the Affordable Care Act passed under President Barack Obama. Four years later, Republican Governor Matt Bevin got rid of the exchange while in office. Bevin said it was too costly. But Governor Bashir argues costs will go down and more people will have access to health care. We can reduce the cost of premiums to Kentuckians if we go back to a state-based exchange. We can also improve efficiencies, and we believe we're going to be able to offer more opportunities to Kentuckians. Governor Bashir submitted a declaration of intent to the federal government waiting to wanting to bring back the program at the start of 2022. He says it costs five million dollars to launch the system, but after the first year, it could save Kentuckians almost nine million dollars each year. Well, thank you for getting your day started with us right here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, we talked with some of the hundreds of people who went to Frankfurt yesterday in hopes of finally getting help to receive their unemployment. It's the rinse and repeat forecast as we wrap up spring tomorrow afternoon going into tomorrow evening. How come how when we can when can we see some relief? There we go. I'll get it out here in a second. I'll tell you when, about three minutes.